Well, hello there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? All right, Libra. So let's get into it. We've got, um, this is your reading for August. Yes. August 2020. Please keep in mind, time is an illusion. Energies are fluid. So whatever. This can resonate with you at any time. Um, also keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yeah. Okay. So I have your pre-shuffle here and it's really kind of interesting, Libra, because a lot of the cards that came out in your love reading have come out in your pre-shuffle and I'm using a, a totally different deck. All right. Um, but we're starting you off. Well, at, uh, yeah. At the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of swords. Um, and you're keeping yourself in some sort of cage in some sort of mental prison. This might have to do with love. If it doesn't have to do with love, it's something you are very passionate about. Um, but because you're so passionate about it, you are hypersensitive to the fact that it's going, it could potentially hurt you. And the love reading was very much connected to what I channeled for you last month in love. If you're new to me, then all of my love readings are over on Patreon. Um, and last month's love reading made me cry. Like y'all like full face crying on camera. <laughs> okay. Um, but this is connected to it. Now I do feel like for, for some of you, this does have to do with love, but others of you, it could be a passion project. It could be anything that you're really excited about. You have the King of Wands here. I just saw 144. You have the King of Wands. You have the Hierophant, Death and the Fool. Now, you could be this King of Wands here, or someone else around you could be this King of Wands. And the King of Wands came out in your in your love reading too. And I was saying, yo, Libra, there's someone around you that's like all about it. That's like bad about it. And you know, I, I mean, I didn't say it like that, but it's like they're 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 really interested. I mean, they see what they want. They want to go after it. And with this combination of the uh, Hierophant, the Fool, and Death, this could absolutely mean marriage or someone wants to get married. Someone sees their desirable mate and like really wants to settle down, lock it down, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever. But this person here, when I was taking this stack of cards out, they flipped over it, but they stayed in the deck. And then as I was taking them out, this card came with it and it's the Five of Wands. So there's conflict here. There could be conflict within this person that is the King of Wands, whether that be you or someone else you're connected to. Or this could be your own conflict. If you're not this King of Wands, but someone's trying to come towards you, this could be your own conflict towards it. I don't know about all that shit, right? Then we get into the Seven of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Queen of Swords. There you are, Libra. Two of Swords and the Four of Wands. You're making, somebody here is making a judgment call based on your past. Uh, something <clears throat> that you walked away from. Uh, you may have walked away from this career. You may have walked away from this type of project or whatever this is. You may have also walked away from love and said, you know what? I'm not going back there. But the universe is saying, whoa, wait, whoa, hold on a second. Wait a second. Don't just walk away like that. Things are not what they seem, two of swords. And in some cases, y'all are all, ooh, y'all are all queen of swords about it and be like, nah, I refuse to see this as it truly is. There's no way, there's no possible way. Universe, you can stop, you can stop bugging me about it because there is no possible way I'm allowing myself to open up to that again. No one is asking you to recreate the past. Four of swords, you need to chill. Somebody needs to chill. Yeah, because I just threw this back down and then the Four of Swords fell down crossed on the Queen of Swords. Now, don't get me wrong. This isn't all bad. Um, the universe is not yelling at you the way they yelled at Virgo. <laughs> but this is something that's standing in your way. I'm hearing you're, you're standing in your, your own way right now. Eight of Swords. You've got to cut yourself out of this mental prison. Because quite frankly, yeah, and I felt this. I wanted to say this, but I didn't. You manifested this. If you want something, Libra... You can't, okay, the universe is speaking right now. Honey, girl, bro, you can't tell me you want something and then block it when I try to bring it to you. Like, what the fuck kind of shit is that, man? Talk about sending some mixed messages up in here. 
Lord have mercy. All right. All right, Libra. So let's get into this here and let's see what else we have for you for this month. All right, here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Libras, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Libra, we're giving this five shuffles. One. Two. scaring you. Something is scaring you all of a sudden. Relax, Libra. It's going to be okay. <laughs> and five. And five. Serious, Libra. The Eight of Swords again? Oh, Jesus Christ. You're just... Mm. Two of Wands. The World. And the Hanged Man. Look, Libra. Look. Again, the universe is coming through and saying, you can't ask me for something. And then when it's presented to you, run away from it, block it, and tell me you don't want it. I never asked for this anyway. Cut a foot, what? I got receipts, <laughs> says the universe. You put your order in with me. I've got receipts right here, bitch. <laughs> but look, Libra, if you want a cycle to come to a close, then you have just got to choose that you want it to close and then move forward and cut yourself free of this mental prison. Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, the world. And I feel like some of you are afraid. You're afraid of stepping through this portal into something new because you don't feel like you're ready. You don't feel like you have enough information. And I keep hearing spirits saying, listos, listos, y'all are ready. You have the hanged man at the bottom of the deck. But then straight up and down, there you go with the queen of swords shit again. You're, you're, at this point, some of you, Libra, you are blocking your enlightenment. You are being way too critical of yourself and the others around you. Or maybe it's just one central person that's around you. I don't know. Mm. Why am I getting an energy of like telling some of y'all not to castrate this man, please? Mm. Okay. <laughs> First half of your reading. First set of surrounding energies. There's the Hierophant again. And I don't know what it is. Maybe this is my own energy. But every time I keep seeing this Hierophant and I keep seeing marriage. Oh. But again... Libra, if, if marriage is not on your radar, then don't fucking worry about it. But again, the Hierophant is really speaking to teaching and learning what you have learned from the past and how you're allowing it to affect you now. It's very much a form of indoctrination that you find yourself in. Even if you don't, even if you don't resonate with indoctrination, even if you try and stay out of that kind of bullshit, mm, you've got to realize how you have indoctrinated yourself into a system that keeps you down keeps you from getting exactly what it is that you want. I just heard you got to learn this lesson. 
The Hierophant is coupled with the Ace of Cups. So yeah, we could be talking about marriage for someone. Ooh, honey. This literally, I mean, the only other one would be the Ace of Pentacles, but this is like the Ace of Cups, which is love. Like, will you marry me? I just heard, yes, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, but if it, again, if this is not resonating in a love sense for you, or this is not talking about marriage or a potential marriage for you, um, regardless of whether you have a partner or not, even if you don't have a partner and you want marriage, this could be talking about marriage for you. But if it doesn't resonate that way, then what this is saying is you have to love yourself enough to break free from the indoctrination. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Okay, you've, you've got the Page of Swords, <sighs> keeping a watchful eye. But quite frankly, Libra, what are you keeping a watchful eye for? I feel like you're going overboard with this Page of Swords shit. You're searching too intently. And quite frankly, this is what creates that Nine of Swords self-fulfilling prophecy type shit. Because if, you're, if you keep looking for something to happen because you're on the extreme defensive, eventually you're gonna find it, Libra. L basic law of attraction. You find what you seek. So if you're constantly seeking for someone to fuck up or someone to come around and try and stab you in the back, eventually somebody's gonna fuck up and somebody's gonna come around and either try to stab you in the back or stab you in the back. So stop looking for it. It's not serving you anyway. You learned the lesson from this situation, right? So release it. There's no reason to hold on to it any longer. And if you're still traumatized by it, then you need to work through that trauma so that you can be free of this, okay? Page of Swords is coupled with death. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Because this is literally saying, put an end to put an end to all this searching. Transform out of this. It's time for you. Um, in some cases, Libra, it's time for you to grow up. In a sense, it's time for you to grow out of this. It's time for you to transform out of this. What is this word? What are the word, what word would I want to use here? Out of this seeking, searching type energy. Something something like that. I was trying to be all like big brained and, and, and edumacated, but you know what? Let's just keep, <laughs> let's just keep it simple. We're gonna kiss it, y'all. Let's just kiss it. Okay. Um Libra, I just heard the potential is great in front of you, but you keep knocking yourself down by searching for all the little things that could go wrong. Shit's gonna go wrong sometimes. Everything isn't going to go, go according to plan. And a, 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 a something, um, a phrase that I really appreciate, and I, I on Facebook, I got a memory like a few days ago about how I had posted this. But like the best way to make God laugh is to make a plan. <laughs> Yo, y'all are cute, man, down there on the earth plane running around with how you think everybody's gonna, ha how you think everything's gonna happen. All y'all little plans and shit. Man, y'all crack me up. <laughs> God has the only plan for you, baby. You just got to trust it and release. Gosh, please release, Libra. Let this shit go, man. It's not serving you. It's not serving nobody else. Mm. Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Libra. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> and I understand why this is challenging for you because you are going to have to take it slowly, 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 step by step by step. And you're going to be fighting your ego, like saying, why are you, that's it. That's what I want to say. Why are you so jumpy? Your ego is so jumpy. And your process of coming out of this is going to take some time. You're going to have to retrain your ego or retrain your mind to not be so jumpy anymore. That is going to be a challenge, but it's worth it. You can get through it. You just have to be patient with yourself. Knight of Pentacles is coupled with the King of Cups. 
Your challenge, Libra, is to slowly but surely work your way towards this sense of emotional maturity. This might sting a little bit, okay? Um, and this might trigger you a little bit, okay? But this jumpiness, this constantly searching for something to go wrong or something to happen, constantly searching for this whatever situation it is that has traumatized you, that is coming from a lack of, of emotional uh, maturity, for sure. Look, Libra, we understand that this has been a traumatizing situation. Quite frankly, though, what you need to keep in mind, what you need to understand is you signed up for this anyway. Okay, that's fine. So, okay, we, we got that, right? Mm. That's a tough pill to swallow, but okay, fine. So now if you signed up for this anyway, this is something that you needed to go through. So at some point, you're going to have to stand up drop the baggage and say, all right, I see why I, I, I get the lesson from all that. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to keep my head held high and I'm not going to allow this to affect me any longer. I'm not going to allow this to rule my life emotionally. I'm not going to allow this to have emotional control over me any longer. I am going to learn to control my emotions and stand through them, weather the storm because the King of Cups is also the type of energy of like, no matter what's going on around him, you see how choppy that water is? Well, he's staying firm. He not going nowhere. Mm. Your closing message or potential outcome, Libra, in the first half of your reading. Mm. The Four of Cups. Yo, y'all, the universe just come, just be handing shit to you. Okay, what about this one? No, I don't want that. Okay, what about this one? No, I don't want that. Okay, what about this one? No, no. At some point, well, you, well look, 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 look. The universe is not going to stop handing you opportunities unless you change your vibration. But at some point, you're going to have to take something, right? Stop doubting yourself. Stop choosing to miss out on an opportunity just because you had a shitty past or you had something really tragic happen to you in your past. Again, not to seem insensitive, but like that was in the past. You survived it, right? So why can't you move forward and allow yourself to have the things you truly want? I don't get it. Four of Cups is coupled with Seven of Cups. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the universe just keeps handing y'all. Like the universe has got all look, and and you know what? It's funny because like y'all be y'all be sitting there all pensive and shit. Like, hmm. and the universe is like, okay, well, what about this? No, I don't want that. Okay, what about this? No, I don't want that. And the universe is like, yo, honey, we could do this all day. We ain't gonna run out of options for your ass. So if you think you're trying to get away with something by saying by constantly rejecting us, honey, that is. Hilarious. Best joke I've heard all day, says the universe. <laughs> like, you really think we're, we're gonna stop caring for you? You really think we're gonna ever stop giving you what you want? Or at least trying to? It's not within our power to do that. We were not designed for that. We were designed to facilitate your wishes. So why don't you do us a favor and honor us by accepting what it is you're asking us for to begin with? Oh, oh okay, Libra. All right. So sorry about it. <laughs> uh, I love y'all. I just love y'all asses. Thank you so much for being here. I am going to move into the second half of the reading now, which can be found on Patreon. $5 a month over on Patreon, uh, you get the Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2 tier. Um, uh, but that's all you get for $5. And then $7 a month is like the full thing. So you get everything that I post on Patreon. So if I don't see you there, then I want to thank you for joining me here. I love you so very much. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>